In this video, I will show you how to fix Steam Web Helper not responding. So let's jump straight into it. So to go ahead and fix this, the first thing you're going to want to do is come to your desktop. And from your desktop, you want to come down to your taskbar at the bottom, right click onto your taskbar and just go ahead and open up your task manager. Now from the task manager window, what you're going to want to do is locate the Steam Client Web Helper. So you can see that's currently here. And what you want to do is click onto it and then come down and click onto end task. So once that's done, you can go ahead and close down your task manager. And what you want to do next is come down to your search box in the bottom left hand corner and just go ahead and search for Steam on your PC. So you should see Steam coming up underneath best match. What you want to do next is right click onto the Steam app and then click onto open file location. What that's going to do is open up a folder like this and again what you're going to do is right click onto the Steam app here and come down and click onto open file location. This is going to take you into the Steam folder. Now from here you want to locate steam.exe which is the actual Steam application just down here. This time what you want to do is right click and come and click onto properties. So what this is going to do is open up a window like this and from here all you need to do is come and click onto the compatibility tab at the top. Now what you need to do is tick the box in compatibility mode to run this program in compatibility mode. You want to make sure this is selected to Windows 8 and also tick the box to run this program as an administrator. Once that's done just come down and click apply and OK to apply your changes. Then what you can do is close this down, go ahead and restart your PC and once you've restarted your PC load up Steam and you should now be able to access this without the web helper not responding error message. So that is how to fix Steam web helper not responding. With that being said I hope this tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out I'd really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.